Welcome, Welcome to, to the Mother Daughter Ish Podcast. It's your mama's favorite podcast. And the podcast your daughter always wanted. This is Miss Dawn. And Anjali. From the 713. Houston, y'all. Get connected and stay connected weekly as new shows debut on Sunday, Wednesday, and please check out our Saturday Out and About showcases. Enjoy the show. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and tell every woman on the planet that you know about our show. Here's our show for today. Hey, it's Miss Dawn. You're wondering how you can support our show, Mother Daughterish? We have Cash App, we have PayPal, and we do have Vimeo. Support our show so that we can reach out to more women. Our goal is to reach and build a community of one million women. Why don't you come on and help Today, us? Today, mothers and daughters, hey, we're focusing on challenges. One of the challenges that we're going to focus on is our challenge that starts today, which is 72 tips in 72 days. If you have not gotten your copy, it is on Amazon. It starts on the 21st of October, and it will be on the 21st of October annually because the 21st of October marks the end of the year countdown so from october the 21st to december 31st is 72 days and that is a great challenge for you to be able to get yourself together for that next year now when i talk about challenges i'm talking about things that can help you to overcome other things there have been many many things that i've done in my life that have helped me to overcome other things people think it's crazy i've climbed 127 steps in malaysia to challenge someone i've also skydived as a challenge I've been able to do zip lining as a challenge I've been able to take solo road trips as a challenge just to see if I could do it or if I wanted to do it the first thing I want to tell you though there are many ways that you can do a challenge and you can choose whatever way you want to do it of course I'm gonna start with our 72 tips in 72 days challenge because that's one that is just an end of the year challenge but another challenge you can do is like a 30-day challenge where you can say, okay, 30 days with no TV. I did six months with no TV at one time, like literally took every single TV out of the house when the kids were younger. And, you know, it really brought us closer as a family. It gave us more things to do together. And I really did like that challenge. And um, I'm pretty sure I do that challenge now as a fasting method now because there are some times when I don't turn the TV on for days and 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 days. So... I am a studying person of that challenge. Another challenge that you could do is you could do a goal setting challenge where you can track your spending, track your habits, you know, track putting uh, different goals in place that keep you organized on a daily basis. You never think about like how being organized and writing things down that you do can keep you organized. For example, I remember one time with an old friend, I wrote a book called, um, uh, 72, 72 minutes to 72 minutes to success. And it was all about working on whatever it is that you're passionate about for at least, uh, oh no, it's called seven minutes to success. And it was all about working on whatever it is that you're passionate about for at least seven minutes a day. And seven minutes a day didn't mean one time a day, but it was like seven minutes a day for so many days so that you can complete whatever task you have written down. The next thing that you can do after the goal setting is you can do a um, challenge to ward off fear. There's so many different ways you can ward off fear by uh, doing the challenge that I'll talk about in a minute, which is number seven. You can do so many things to ward off fear. You can do something that is uh, fearful to you, like if you're afraid of going out to eat by yourself, then do just that. If you're afraid to of heights, then do something like the zip lining or skydiving where it's uh, tandem or there's someone there to help protect you. The next one is to um, get a new rise time and a rest time. For example, if you wake up now at 7 or 8 o'clock, try waking up at 4 or 5. I'm a 3 o'clock a.m. wake up person, so I definitely um, like keeping that particular habit. And number six is going to be fasting. When you're fasting, you can maybe try a new plant-based diet so that you can see how that works for your life. And then number seven is journal. You could start like a journal to gratitude, uh, uh, journal to, uh, gratitude journal 
so that you can write down all the things you're grateful for. Or it could help you to form some habits that you've been trying to form your habits. Now, I'll tell you a little bit more about our book. Our book is called 72 Tips in 72 Days. And it's one of those things that we just want to help you with the end of the year way that you handle any kind of challenges that you have. So also for a bonus, you could possibly try doing some movement for your body. That could be exercise, that could be dance, that could be walking, that could be a whole body vibration machine, and that could be stretching your body. So those are some of the challenges that you could try for the end of the year. No matter what you do, always think about what you can do to better yourself for the upcoming year. The reason I say that is because you never want to expect that you're going to be a different person by doing the same things twice. I think they say if you do the same thing over and over and expect results, that's, that's considered insanity. And so we don't want any of that. So all I'm saying is that if you're, you're going to try our 72-day challenge, start it on October the 21st. Get your book on Amazon now. If you want a signed copy, let us know. Bye. Hey, it's Miss Dawn. You wondering how you can support our show, Mother Daughter-ish? We have Cash App. We have PayPal, and we do have Vimeo. Support our show so that we can reach out to more women. Our goal is to reach and build a community of one million women. Why don't you come on and help us do that?